my name is Sarah Haley and I'm a fitness consultant, trainer, and choreographer. I'm here at the Reebok Sports Club LA in New York City and I've created a pool workout just for you. This workout can be done by anyone. If you're pregnant, injured, or new to exercising, it's going to be a great, fun workout. And if you are an athlete or an avid exerciser, it's going to be a good way for you to change things up. Remember, the more you change up the wor your workout, the more results you're going to see. So let's go ahead and get started. This workout's going to be done in a circuit. So it's a series of moves that you can repeat as much as you'd like. The more you repeat them, the more calories you're going to burn and the more results you're going to see. I have Vanessa Kylie here with me. She's going to model the moves for you. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. The first move is called a lunge and swoosh. It's a great body warm-up for the entire body. So we're going to step out to the right here and over close fingers and then spread them out wide and swoosh. And then bring your feet back together and then lunge to the other side. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. Step out as big as you can, swoosh through the water and come back. Let's repeat that again. Really try to keep your chest underneath the water and the arms underneath the water because the water is your resistance. That's going to provide you the challenge. Switch sides. Good. And follow on our Vanessa. She's going for about a count of four here. We're going to do it one more time. So think one, two, three, four, and switch. And one, two, three, four, and switch. Feel free to keep doing that until you start to feel warm. And then we're going to move into a jog. So knees are going to come up high up into the chest so that you're really working that core. And then I'm gonna give her a 10 second count where she's gonna sprint. She's gonna go as quick as she can. On your mark, get set, go. She's got 10, nine, eight, seven, six. She's really moving those arms. Four, three, two, one, and then come back to the jazz. Breathe. And you do wanna make it a little bit harder to breathe when you go for that sprint. Then you know you're working your heart and your entire body. Here we go, one more time. On your mark, get set, go. She's got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, use everything that. Four, three, two, one, and jog it on out. And notice she does it with a smile. <laughs> Good. From here, we're going to go into our cowboy runs. The knees come out to the side. And we start to work into those hips a little bit more and your obliques. So if you want a little bit more of a challenge, bring your hands up behind your head, elbow up wide, so you have a nice stretch in your chest, and then elbow to knee, elbow to knee. She's going to breathe as she does that. She's going to start to feel it in her obliques. Excellent core work here. Good. One more. And moving on. We're going to fly like a bird. So this is a complete body workout move right here. We're going to go ahead and separate the legs here and come down into a traditional lunge. So back heel lifted, both knees bend, and we're going to push those arms out as your chest goes underneath the water. And now from here, you're going to lift up, lift the leg, and take the arms behind you, work to find that balance, and then we're going to pulse the arms back as the leg lifts up. Head stays out of the water, chest is going to stay underneath. She's going to feel this in the back of her arms here, shoulders, shoulder blades squeaking together to work into the back, and then we're also working your glutes and your hamstrings back there. Okay, give me four more. Three, two, one, and come back down into that lunge. Breathe, and then lift up again, and you can pulse for a set of 20 here, and then just make sure that you switch sides, so you're yeah. even on both sides. Good, let's move on. Some more core work here. Arms are going to go up to the shoulders. You're going to soften your knees, your feet together, and then bring both knees up into the chest. We call this ab, tuck, and twist. So there's your tuck, and then we're going to add a twist by going over to the left, back to the center, over to the right, and back to the center. So on land, I can't bring both feet up. Vanessa in the water is bringing both legs up so she can work that entire core and she's breathing hard. Good, final challenge, our pike ab challenge. So on this one, we're gonna really squeeze the legs together. So you're gonna work those inner thighs here. Arms are gonna come up and then we're gonna continue to work the core by kicking those legs up into the air and the arms press back. So she's keeping those toes together and she's gonna splash her out. Good. We're also hitting up the back of the arms again. A little tricep action here as she takes those legs up into the air and really tries to pike her body. So she's sitting back as the legs come up. Beautiful work, Vanessa. So feel free to go back to the top if you'd like. Go back into that lunge and swoosh and you can catch your breath again so that you can repeat the entire circuit. And feel free to repeat it as many times as you'd like. I really hope that you've enjoyed my pool workout. If you want any more information, please feel free to visit my website at www.sarahfitness.com. S-A-R-A fitness.com.